Hi Cancer, it's Elle here to do your June 2018 reading. Um, happy birthday to those Cancers whose birthday it is, alright? Let's get started. We're going to start with a five card tarot spread. It's called the advice spread. The first card is you, right where you are. The second card is are you on your correct path? The third card is what is your main obstacle? Let's see. Thank you to those who like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. Thank you to those who have taken advantage of the $15 special reading. Go over to my website, book that. All information of how to contact me is below. All right, the fourth card is what's helping you. Fifth card, how can progress be made? Five of Earth at the bottom of the deck. Someone is feeling left out, feeling lack monetarily, depleted, or near depletion. Like a castaway. You'll just shut out. Okay. You, right where you are, the eight of airs. Some of you are feeling trapped, stuck. Some of you are in situations, maybe with air signs, where you just, you're always being watched. You're always being guarded. You feel like you're in prison. Are you on your correct path? Messenger of fire. Messenger of fire says... You want to be free. The messenger of fire is in and out. Is vicarious. Does exactly what they want. You know the affirmation of the fire signs. are Is I want. They do exactly what they want. They get what they want. The advice may be that you're, you aren't on your correct path. And you, you need a bit of liberation. Especially with the eight. Eight of Swords or the Eight of Air here. You feel caged. You feel trapped. You might be leaving a situation soon. Maybe to return to it. Maybe to never come back. But let's keep going. What is the main obstacle? The Seven of the Air. Uh, you needing to devise a plan of action in silence, in secret. Write it out. Write what it looks like. Make a plan and actually stick to it and move forward on it. It starts, of course, in the head. It's mental. But then you have, you know, mental thoughts turn into words. You have to get this plan in, in motion. It's the only way you get out of the aid of sort. Which, that's this is your main obstacle is you, you don't have a plan. You just are comfortable here feeling stuck but wanting to be free but needing to make a plan what is helping you <laughs> the star card could be an Aquarius if not an Aquarius the fact that you need to heal that restoration needs to happen within you some motivation Aquarius has a lot of feelings inside. They feel a lot. Now what Aquarius does that Cancer doesn't do. Talking to some of my Cancer women. Um, they have so many feelings but you never know it. They hold that, those feelings close because letting them out puts them in a place of great vulnerability. And to cross an Aquarius is a big deal because most Aquarius people are black or white people. It is or it isn't. You are my good side or you are my bad side. There's no gray area. So they tread very lightly with giving people situations ammunition to use against them, which a lot of times in situations 
is uh, what we do as people is we pour out our feelings making us vulnerable gives others um, you know it gives them something over us gives them ammunition to so be like the Aquarius have the feelings but hold them in until you know exactly know exactly seven of air devise a plan of action to move forward how can progress be made the lovers card Gemini you need to make a decision it starts with a plan yes you feel trapped but it starts with a plan it starts with holding Re and then recognize the emotions here I'm here recognize them acknowledge them devise a plan of action and then make the decision because it's like you want to move forward on something or with someone because you feel left out with the five of earth could be with a Capricorn Virgo Taurus Aquarius Gemini Aries Sagittarius Leo um, but you aren't it's not a lot of action being taken. You want to move forward, but you aren't. Okay. Then we have the Nine of Wands, the Nine of Fire. You're evaluating do I want to go back into this situation? Maybe with a fire sign, the Messenger of Air. Someone may come at you confrontational on air sign Gemini Libra Aquarius, which takes you to the hangman status. Or it was confrontational dealing with an air sign. It so you have a separation with the four of air, but you want to express your feelings with the page of water. Have new creative motivation passion with or with with a certain person or in a certain situation but there's meant there's indecision within yourself because you don't know how this is going to turn out but you can't stop thinking about this person this is a mental prison too maybe over an uh, Aries Sagittarius Leo Simon rising You want it to start something stable with this person then the chariot you you want reconciliation with the king of air. This is typically Libra or Aquarius. Can be Gemini, but typically it's Libra or Aquarius. King of fire. Some of you dealing with what air or fire or someone with air and fire in their chart. This great argument here maybe with a fire sign in which you're contemplating a, an ending a divorce separation due to infidelity you're just waiting to possibly walk away to have some clarity to have an ending to transform your entire life you're waiting for spirit to speak to you so that you can become the magician and move away from chaos and drama. This time it'll be final, I'm hearing, with the judgment card. And you'll have a new start by way of expressing exactly how you feel with it either with an air sign or an air sign expressing expressing how they feel with you. So that maybe you can move toward a Capricorn Virgo Taurus. Or a Taurus, Libra, or the other man or other woman, or Capricorn, or someone who you have a really strong connection with. Sexually, karmically, mentally, physically, you, you can't shake this person. Yeah. Could be a Libra. Yeah. Okay, Cancer. Same shit all the time. Um, uh, 
Okay, let's see if we can get another spread for a different set of cancer. Thank you for the messages for cancer. True, accurate messages for cancer. Messages of love and light. Mm -hmm. Okay. Bottom of the deck, eight of spade again. So I'm feeling trapped. There's cancellation here. You thought you were moving forward, but you feel stuck. You're not mentally. Ten of spades. Seven of club. Ace of club. Ten of club. Five of spades. Fire and air. This is you right where you are. You An ending. Feeling backstabbed and betrayed maybe. Excuse me. Maybe an air sign. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Betrayed your trust. Betrayed the relationship. Blindsided you with information that was, you know, n now you know. Are you on your correct path? This is, talks about psychic abilities being heightened. You having success and prosperity. Your, your, your psychic abilities are being heightened against the opposite sex. So, yes, you are on your correct path. Because now you see, you're seeing clearly. Uh, what's your main obstacle? Motivation, once again, the ace of club. Um, health, wealth, and happiness. The, the motivation to take a different course of action in that way. The universe is blessing you with an ace. It's about you taking it though. What's helping you? The Ten of Club. This talks about unexpected money, unexpected good luck. Um, also in Tarot, it talks about, you know, the burden that you're carrying. You know, but it's a ten. It looks like you're laying it down here, maybe with a fire sign, sun moon arising. How can progress be made? Five of spade. This talks about reversal. Great arguing, like great arguments, like it's just big. It's it's cancellation reversal. You thought you were moving forward, but you're you're moving backward. Could be with an air sign. You thought you were, you know, you're on a good path with them. And then it just, it just spiraled. Yeah. All right, Cancer. That's Sharita. Let's get some additional advice cards. Let's see. Thank you for the additional advice cards for Cancer. Three cards for Cancer. Additional advice. Sobriety, healthcare change. Yep, that Ace of Wands and sobriety. Welcome the new hobbies. Decisions at the bottom of the deck. So, what some of you do as a hobby, maybe very good at it you might want to look into monetizing it even if it's just you know something you do on the side that gains you extra money even if it's not full time you know um it's still time put into crafting something so you want to monetize that it's here for you also engage in some hobbies that will give you um, a positive outlet welcome the new there's new here for you. You have the Ace of Wand, um, the Ace of Air. There's newness here. It's just about you taking it, you grasping it. Sobriety not only talks about, of course, sobriety in the, in the means of chemical uh, influence, you know, whether it's narcotics or alcohol or anything but it also talks about sobriety of the mind like clear your mind 
you, you, you have the eight of spades or the, and the eight of swords and then the nine of air. Lots of highly negative anxiety based thoughts. Four of spades was there. You need to take a mental break. Clear your mind. Devise a plan of action. The seven of spades. The seven of air. Be sober in your thinking. Don't let your mind be clouded and, and bogged down with things that just don't matter or don't concern you. Healthcare change, Ace of Wands. Um, I'm here to get a second, a third opinion, you know, if this is for you or someone you love. Don't just go. Well, what sounds good? You know, a lot of times we put, we place a lot of trust in health care officials, you know, physicians and doctors and so forth. Because we don't, you know, that's not our area of expertise. But still, your area of knowing yourself, knowing your body, knowing how you feel about a particular diagnosis or a particular doctor, you know that. And you can, you know, um, at least make um, an informed decision by by um, by way of your intuition. I mean, I know a lot of people say it sounds crazy, but second, third opinion is here. Welcome the new. Stop. This is something cancer has a problem with new newness. Like let go of old stuff. Like I used to have a cancer boyfriend a long time ago. Oh my gosh, he was like have all these old clothes you know like he didn't even wear them and sometimes he did and it was like why are you wearing it old stuff like oh let it go and it was so hard for him to let it go I'm a I'm an Aquarius I have no problem letting things that you know stuff like that go but oh yeah decisions okay so you got some decisions to make Cancer, if you like a personal reading, my website is below. Head on over, take advantage of that $15 special reading. It will close in two weeks. All right. Thank you, thank you, thank you for always tuning in. Thank you for all the love. Thank you for the likes, shares, comments, and subscriptions. Uh, remember, Cancer, when in doubt, pray. I am praying for you. Pray for me as well. I will see you in your mid. June readings. Take care.